Hello, UTM is exactly 89 days from today and I'm making this video to help you make yourself study hard enough from today to your exam day and not just study hard enough but study hard in such a way that you're going to get the amazing results you want and at the end of this video I'm going to be talking about a 70 days challenge that's going to motivate inspire you to be consistent in studying from today to your exam day so make sure to stick around to the end to know more about the study challenge if you're new here I'm wealth I'm currently a 40 medical student of the University of Obado and you are absolutely going to make my day if you can please like this video share with a friend you think might find it helpful and also subscribe to the channel I haven't done that let's get in to the video. I understand how genuinely difficult it can be for many people to make themselves study as much as they want to despite the willingness to. Many people really really wish they were studying hard enough but they can't just tend to get themselves to study hard enough. It's something I can totally relate to as a medical student because I'm always required to study all the time. Studying is some sort of hard task and we naturally tend to want to avoid it. But there are ways you can make yourself actually study consistently and hard enough to get the results you want. I believe that the remaining days left before the exam is sufficient for you to learn significant amount of information that is going to boost your mark significantly, which is why I'm making this video. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing practical approach that will make you or help you study hard consistently. Generally, there are two things involved in motivating one to study. One is knowing the why you have to study harder and secondly is knowing how to study harder. So I'm going to be talking about the first one, knowing your why to study harder. And this does not apply only to studying. It actually applies to so many things we want to do. When you have a strong why to do something, you are more likely to do it. When you have a strong reason to want to do something, you're going to have intrinsic motivation rather than extrinsic motivation. The reason why you should study other is best personal to you. Personally, when I was preparing for my second UTME, which got me into medical school, my strongest why were that I really wanted to study medicine and nothing else. And I knew that to actually get into medical school, it requires a lot of learning this requires a lot of information so i have to get a very high score in my UTME. and my second strongest why was that i previously failed to gain admission to study the course i wanted despite putting in a lot of hard work even in the previous year so anytime i did not feel like studying i just remember that oh guy you need to get into medical school you feel before and you don't want to experience this again so get up go study and i was studying i studied hardest than i have ever done in my entire life when I was preparing for my UTME. That period was a significant moment in my academic life because it showed me I can actually do way more than I've been doing. I saw that I had more strength to study than I've been using. And I believe this can be the same for many of you. This can be a turning moment for you. You can decide to study very hard and you're going to see that you are much more capable than what you currently are doing. I want you to have a personal reason that will make you want to study very hard for the exam but I'm going to also give some general reasons why I think you should as a UTME student prepare harder for the coming exam one reason is that there is a lot of happiness in being able to do what you want to do or being able to get what you want so some students get to school and they are not happy with their course for the first few years because that's not the course they originally want pursuing this happiness of being able to study what you want is strong enough reason for you to study harder now another reason why you should study harder is to help you avoid the consequences of feeling and that you can get yourself to study just imagine how it's going to feel if you don't make up the score you want or if you perform below your expectation so reminding yourself of these things should help you actually study harder another thing is that studying very hard for UTME actually helps in your post TME especially for institution where your post TME is also testing you on your O level knowledge and not just that in your first year of university or first year of a high institution most of what you are going to be doing is going to be very similar to what you did in O level and your knowledge preparing for UTM is going to help you a lot. Somehow I feel happy I didn't get admission at my first try because I really did not know enough. I felt like I had learned enough but I actually did not. But during my second attempt I learned a lot and when I got to university I realized that oh, if I had not learned all this thing it would have been more difficult for me in my first year and my first semester in school actually got A's in all of the courses I took. One of the reasons I could easily do that is because I have a good knowledge 
of O level just by studying for my UTME. The last reason I'm going to give is that studying hard enough for your UTME is going to make you a better student overall. You're going to see that you are capable of doing way more than you are currently doing. Now that we've talked about some whys you should study very hard or study harder for this coming UTME. Now let's talk about the hours, like how to study harder for the coming UTME. The first how is to desire, decide and disappear. First of all, desire. I see many students do this. They do not have a target score in mind or they just have a vague idea of what they are trying to get in the UTME. They just study randomly and hope to get the highest score. Usually people that do this tend to not have super great performance. What I want you to do instead is to pick a score, pick a target score and you're not just going to pick this score, you're going to work towards it. And I would even advise to write this score, your target score, somewhere you, you are going to be seeing it. And this is not just about making a target score, you also have to study like it. When you see your target score and you see the way you are studying, you'll be like, okay, no, there's this score dance, I need to study harder to be able to reach this target score. That's desire. Now, decide. I want you to decide right now that for the remaining 89 or 80 days, depending on when you are watching this video, I'm going to put in hard work than I have ever done before. It's going to be hard, it's going to be painful, it's difficult. It's easier to not study, it's easier to do every other thing than study. But just decide that, okay, for the remaining days, I'm going to reduce the time I spend doing all the distractions and I'm going to focus, I'm going to spend more time studying. Anytime you notice you are lacking, remind yourself that, okay, I've decided I'm going to do this and that is what I'm going to do. And last thing is to disappear. For the next two months and some weeks, I want you to disappear. Find a place where you're going to have less distraction, where you're not going to be disturbed so much and just go there and study. If you find a library that is quiet, you can go there. If you can't find a library, you can study in your home, you can study anywhere. Just decide that, okay, for the next X weeks or X months, I'm going to disappear and I'm disappearing to study. And by the time I'm coming out, I'm coming out way more knowledgeable than I was before I disappeared. And by then you'll be writing your exam and you're going to be coming out with a fantastic result. I hope so. And I pray so. Now the second how to do it is to constantly remind yourself of why you are doing all of these things you are doing. Because it is usually difficult, like I've said several times in this video. Just remind yourself why you want to study harder and you tend to make yourself study harder. The next step is to reduce distraction. We have a lot of distraction, which one of the most significant forms is social media. Because social media is there, you can easily just stop studying or when you study a little, you just go to social media and scroll, 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 scroll. My own theory is that if you can remove as many distractions as possible, you are going to be forced to actually study because you won't have plenty things to do that stimulate you that much and you'll be forced to study. If you are not disciplined enough to regulate how much time you spend on social media, you can delete them for now or miss the apps for now till your exam. I assure you there's going to be a lot of time, there's going to be more than enough time after your exam to actually do all the social media in the world you like to do. So remind yourself of that. The next thing is to make a big picture study plan. Look at the jam syllabus. You know how much you've already studied, you know how much you know. Look at the jam syllabus and see, okay, this is how much I'm going to cover before my exam. Then when you look at the picture and look at the days you have left, you're going to say, okay, this is how much I need to study each day to be able to make up with this my plan. Also in your plan, make sure you include textbook you are going to study and practice question. If you're planning to study, you should also plan to practice a lot of questions because the more you practice, the better way you study stick. So don't just read it like you're reading newspaper. Read it and actually apply the knowledge you read by practicing. Practice past questions. Practice, practice questions in textbook too. Next thing is to have an accountability partner or have a mentor that can always keep you in check. It's easier to do this thing when you have someone you talk to about it and someone that shares the same goals with you. You can always talk to them or better yet, you could have a mentor that is always keeping you in check and looking after you to make sure you're actually doing what you intend to do. And just by the way, if you are looking for a community where you can find people that are goal driven, that are studying very hard for the UTME and would like to use the head effect of that community to motivate yourself. I have an online tutorial which you currently run on WhatsApp and Telegram and each week we have a mock exam to test your ability. This mock exam will help you want to study harder and we don't just do that, we even award prizes to the best for I feel this is something you might be interested in. It costs just 2500 and it's a one 
time fee once you pay the ones you're not going to pay anymore and you can also assess the previous classes with add on telegram if you're interested you can check the link in the description below and finally the last how is to make studying more fun when I was preparing for it, I did not believe studying should be fun. I would tell myself that if studying is pain, I would rather suffer the pain for the next three or four months than repeat the whole process again next year. But now that I've gotten to university, because I have to study for like six to seven years, imagine if studying was pain for that long, it would be very hard to keep up. So I've kind of changed my mindset that studying can actually be fun. One of the ways I make studying fun is by changing the location I study, trying different modes of studying. Or if I don't get to understand what the textbook is saying, I could easily just go to YouTube and search for videos. I could talk to friends, teach friends, and also learn from friends. When I get bored or get tired of studying and I still have to study, I will just leave my room and go to the library and also i reward myself i'll tell myself okay after studying this amount of information i'm going to go get something for myself or after studying this amount of information i'm going to play a game and just having all those rewards at the end tend to make me want to do it and because i'm looking forward to the reward and finally let's talk about the 70 day study challenge it is very easy it is just a way to ensure that you're actually doing the studying you've decided because i believe if you're watching this video to this point you've decided you've made up your mind you're going to study at this you've ever studied in your life for the next 89 days but we are going to do a 70 day study challenge which is starting from today so at the end of each day you can always come back to this video comment section and you're going to tell us how much hour you've spent studying today what topic you read and the numbers of practice questions you solved today and the goal is that as the day goes by you're not meant to reduce the numbers of time hours or practice questions you've solved you can either maintain a particular number or improve on it and increase it you're going to see a lot more that people do the same thing and this is supposed to i hope will motivate you to actually keep up with studying and at the end of the day i'll be looking forward to celebrating all of you i'll be looking forward to celebrate you and I hope God help you and strengthen you to do this thing very well and have the amazing result that is going to get you into the course of your choice, in the school of your choice. All right, thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe, like this video, share with someone you think might find it helpful. And if you want to join my online tutorial, then check the description below. You are going to find the link there. It's two five one time payments and you are going to have a lot of fun. Thank you and have a productive day.